she rock this beat. It's your boy, Richie Ruckus. We are back here today. It is Friday, February 14th. It is Valentine's Day. It is the day of love. This video probably won't be being uploaded until the 15th on Saturday. And if you haven't picked up yet, two things. One, my sneaker room is so dusty. I see these dust particles flying all over the place. And it probably coincides with what I'm getting ready to say is number two. If you cannot hear me, I am battling a severe cold here. Me and they are both sick and it kind of put a damper on our Valentine's Day plans. We're supposed to be going away for the weekend. I'm hoping we still do that, but we're both kind of battling uh, the same cold and, you know, same hoping. We're both hoping that it's not the flu, but muscle aches, our bodies are sore stuffed up congested and you know we're just kind of dealing with a lot so we're trying to get away that being said i didn't want to take away from doing a sneaker review as i stated in my last video with the adidas outlet finds that your know, sneakers haven't really been gravid haven't been captivating me so far in the beginning of 2020 like they usually do and you know, as luck would have it, we're at the NBA All-Star break, so a lot of heat drops around NBA All-Star weekend, and this year was no different. I just picked up a brand new pair of sneakers at Lapstone and Hammer, so we're going to dive right into this unboxing. I'm going to do the unboxing review. I'm going to hit you with the on feet, and I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my Valentine's Day weekend. Uh, you know, if you have a special someone in your life, I suggest that, you know, you hold on to them dearly and, you know, you make them feel as appreciated as, you know, they make you feel. That being said, we're going to dive into this pickup. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Listening to myself speak is driving me insane. You know why you're here. You know the drill. Let's get a glimpse. All these warlocks. We have the Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the UNC to Chicago colorway. These are a woman's exclusive, but they do have the extended sizing. So I went up to a size 10 in women's to accommodate for my eight and a half in men's. If you don't know your proper sizing, it's always good to check the Nike sneakers app or nike.com or just find the sizing chart. But typically with a Jordan 1, you want to size a size and a half down if you're doing the woman. So a woman's 10 equates to a men's eight and a half. Two things I want to touch on about this pair of sneakers right off the gate. As you guys know, the Jordan 1 is my favorite sneaker of all time. I think this silhouette is timeless. And, you know, I, I say that knowing that it has become such a hyped sneaker and, and such a beloved sneaker throughout sneaker heads and non-sneaker heads. But this silhouette has always been a top three sneaker silhouette to me. This sneaker silhouette is very influential in why I, I became so entrenched and in love with sneakers. It's the Jordan 1, the Jordan 3, and Air Max 1. I touch on that constantly, and I feel like they're probably the three most reviewed sneakers on this channel, and for good reason. The se second thing I wanted to touch on is this is the second time Jordan Brand and Nike have kind of hit us with a similar colorway in a, a men's and women's exclusive. And what I mean by that is we had the Fearless UNC to Chicago, which was... The, the Tar Heels colorway and more of a Chicago upper, which with this pair, we're getting more of the UNC blue followed up by the Bread Jordan one. Both very, very dope in their own right. But the, the, the other part of this is, this is, like I said, it's the second time the Jordan brand has done this. The first time I felt like the Obsidian blue and the blue chill or cool, I, I believe they were called the blue chill Jordan ones, which were the female exclusive and the, the male exclusive was the Obsidian blue. They switched it this time. The, the blue chill patent leather were the women's and then the Obsidian blue men's, kids, women's sizing was, it was the traditional tumbled leather where this pair... The women's is the tumble leather and the men's Chicago to UNC fearless wear the patent leather ones. And I, I'm going to have images of both going up. I do have both pair of the UNC to Chicago's. So what I thought was a nice touch with this is the leather hang tag. I actually like these more than the top three. I know the top three Jordan 1 was like hyped for you know a, a little bit there and people were going after them. I actually didn't like them. I didn't go after them. But I, I like the North Carolina back 
followed up by the bread front. You got the Nike Air branding on the on the tongue. Each insole, I believe, is different. Yeah. So on the right, on the right sneaker, the insole was red. On the left one, you have more of that Carolina blue on the insole. And then, like I said, the left one has that North Carolina blue on the inside. I thought it was nicely done, and I, I feel like I do like the patent leather blue chill better than I like the tumbled leather obsidian blue for the men's. And then with these, I, I like both women's pair better. I like the patent leather on the on the obsidian blue, like the North Carolina colorway. And then I like the tumbled leather on the woman's UNC to Chicago. So I feel like Jordan brand, I, I feel like it was a nice move by them given the ladies the better of the two options with both pairs of sneakers. And like I said, they have the extended sizing in these. I wasn't sure if there was the extended sizing in the blue chill. I think there was, but I could be wrong. But I just think it's it's very dope what Jordan Brand has been doing lately for, for, for women as far as sneakers and, and, and streetwear and stuff like that. Because I feel like typically, uh, you know, Nike, Adidas, Jordan Brand, all the sneaker companies have been guilty of like making a pink sneaker or just putting fl something like a floral print on and saying this is the woman's version or like a purple and pink sneaker and it's like you know there's more to women than just you know a, a pink sneaker so i think it's dope that both pairs of the like i said the typical north carolina colorway with the obsidian blue slash blue chill and the unc to chicago that the ladies i feel got both pairs of sneakers like i said that's up to your interpretation that is up to your own opinion but i feel like both pairs um the jordan brand did a woman's version a men's version that the ladies got the better of the two but I'm super hyped to get these. I'm still on the hunt for the Red Cement 3s. They drop tomorrow in sneakers. I don't think they're going to be that hard to get because they're not going to have that shy on the back. Uh, the pull tab for the Chicago exclusives for All-Star Game have the shy on the back is, you know, an ode to Chicago where the general release is just going to have the Nike Air. So uh, I'm excited and, and hopeful that I'm able to get them. These are really the only two pair of sneakers for All-Star Weekend that I was really going after. So I'm one for one so far. Let's hope we can make it two for two. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Valentine's Day weekend. I suggest you do the same. But until next time, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. The number you have reached, 911, has been changed.
Country Rock ist B.